Hi everyone, I want to welcome you to the DriveWorks Express Overview. I'm Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems. You may be watching this presentation as part of the three-point DriveWorks product overview. If so, this is the first part of that three video series. In this presentation, what I'd like to do is go over the DriveWorks Express product and just show you some of the great benefits of using this tool with SolidWorks. Our goal today is basically to take this design and create some variations of it. Traditionally, this would be done by having an engineer use SolidWorks to manipulate the design, make changes, modify some of the existing parameters and create a new design. After that, the engineer would typically create your 2D drawings. What we would like to do today is we would like to speed up this process using DriveWorks in SOLIDWORKS. DriveWorks Express is turned on by going to the Tools menu and then to the Express products. The first time you launch this product it will ask for an activation code and you just simply log into SOLIDWORKS.com and access your activation code, paste it into the dialog box and you're ready to go. Once you have the product activated you can simply turn this product on and it gives you the DriveWorks Express task pane on the right hand side of your SOLIDWORKS screen. What we're going to do here is we're going to run a project. Now as you can see the first thing we do when we run the project in DriveWorks is we simply have to put our inputs in for what we want this this mausoleum in this instance to look like. So in this screen we would make our choices now, as you can see, when I hover over one of these input boxes, it's asking me to type in a value between 65 and 100 for the width. This is what's known as rules based engineering. And you build these input forms to standardize and specify the rules within your organization. So in this case here, I can type any value between 65 and 100. If I try and go with that outside of those boundaries, you'll see it will not allow me to do so. I've done this for all of the input boxes on my, my input form. And as you can see, as I go down each one of these, it's asking me to specify the values between certain um, options that I have. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill some of these in. Next, I have some drop down boxes. In the drop down boxes, I have options. Again, you would configure the DriveWorks model to, uh, to give you the options that you would like to see. So here we'll just add a couple of different options with these drop downs. At the bottom we have some text fields that need values put in into them. Now here we have no other options. These are simply text boxes where we have to start typing. So here I'm going to add my order number. And then finally it's asking me here for my customer name. If I don't put anything in these boxes, DriveWorks will not let me proceed. So these are rules that I have to follow in order to use DriveWorks. The next step is to simply create the model by clicking the create button in the bottom right. As you can see, if something doesn't match the rules that are in place, it will not allow you to, to move forward. In this case here, it's taken out the backslashes from the order number. When we hit create this time, you'll see it will allow us to proceed. What we're going to do now is we're going to sit back and we're going to let DriveWorks Express do the legwork for creating this variation of our design. As you can see, now that the design is finished, DriveWorks Express has created all of our models and built the variation of our assembly for this mausoleum that we specified in the input form. The other nice thing about this is if we go to the folder that this actually created, you will see it created all of the part files that were associated with desi this design, as well as any of the drawing files that were associated with those part files. It gives us an assembly with a bill of materials and all of our 2D prints for each one of these models. So what we've basically done here is we've gone through the simple process of using DriveWorks Express to run a project and create variations of our models and drawings. 
It's a simple process to get DriveWorks Express up and running. All you need to do is simply capture the, the dimensions and features within your designs that you wish to drive. You can add custom properties or drawings if you want to control those also. You create the input form to gather the information that you need. And then you assign and build rules to drive those dimensions and features that you wish to change in your design. Once the setup's complete, you're ready to run your project and you're ready to run it over and over again to create many variations of your design with very little effort. The nice thing about DriveWorks Express is it's included with every seat of SOLIDWORKS. So if you currently own SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD, you do already own DriveWorks Express. You can start building and creating variations of your designs right now using DriveWorks Express. So the key benefits of this product is you're basically capturing and reusing your existing design knowledge. And you're doing this to save a great deal of time. You're incorporating your own design rules to minimize any costly areas, errors and manual mistakes. And you're automating repetitive tasks to reduce design time. This is gonna free up engineering time to work on other activities. And you're speeding up the process of generating 3D models and 2D drawings. I'm Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems. Thank you very much for your time.